All right, let's get a Gemini API key. Let's start building and let's see if we can do it in under 30 seconds. Um, so I'm in AI Studio. I have basically a blank account that I've never used before. I Before leading up to this, I clicked one button, which is accepting the terms of use to get to this page. Um, all I need to do to get an API key is press get API key in the top left-hand corner. I'll click that. I'll press get API key. I'll select a cloud project. In this case, I already had one created on this account. Uh, and if you don't have one, it would just automatically create one for you. So boom, under 30 seconds, I have an API key. I'm gonna switch over to cursor. Um, I have a file open. I can already just paste my API key in there and use it. If I didn't have code though, what you can do is you can go back to creating a prompt. You can press get code and copy and paste this code. Go back to cursor in my case. I'll make a new file. I'll call it testing123.py, paste in the code. I'll go back and grab my API key again. I'll put it in there. I'll switch this instead of using an environment variable to just use the hard-coded key that I put in. Clear out my terminal, Python 3, testing123.py. Uh, it says no such file or directory, and it's because I spelled the word testing wrong when I created the file. So I did a teeting, um, teeting, no, teasting, uh, one, two, three, which I love typos. Boom, and it works. Um, so all in, all in, you know, a minute and a half. We go from API key to running code, working on your on your local desktop, um, and you can really start to customize this. There's a bunch of GitHub repositories that we have that do a bunch of other stuff. Um, if you go to Gemini GitHub, we've got tons of different repositories. If you're like this very simple code snippet example could be helpful for you. You might need something that's like a little bit more verbose, depending on what you want to do. We have starter applets we have everything in the cookbook we have a quick start um, if you want sort of like a locally running desktop version of an application um, so there's a lot of different stuff that you can do it all happens very quickly um, ai studio is the place to get your api key it's the place to try out the models you can use a bunch of the different um, examples that we have here the the prompt gallery to try out different things that are possible with the model uh, and then once you're sort of familiar with the scope of what the model can do uh that's where ai that's where you get your api key you get out of ai studio and you go and actually start building something um, so hopefully this was <laughs> this was helpful um, i'll add an overlaid timer somewhere that sort of shows how long it was taking for us to actually do this but the the sort of headline of the story is you know sign in to api key to actually building with Gemini in less than less than 90 seconds, um, which I think is a beautiful story. And if you're a builder and you want to get started, we have a super generous free tier. If you go to ai.google.dev, you can see our rate limits. Um, if you're a developer on the free tier, uh, the rate limits are super generous. So you can do lots of things every day. Uh, there's many, many, many free tokens available uh, to get started. And when you want to upgrade and actually take your application to production, you can go and upgrade to the paid tier um, and you can get even higher rate limits uh, and actually take things to production. If you need even higher than what we give you um, on, the, on the paid tier, you can request a paid tier increase limit and we'll review it and we'll try to get you even higher rate limits so that you can scale to production. So there's never been a better time to get started building with Gemini. Um, if you need anything from our team, reach out to us, and uh, thanks for listening. Take care.